Hello everyone, Dark Hovaki here, and welcome to our, I think, our third meeting for Hood. I am e amazingly behind <laughs> this week. I think I read a total of three chapters. I was going to insert chapter 10 at the beginning of this episode. I appear to have lost it. Uh, <laughs> I thought I knew where it was. I know I recorded a chapter 10. For some reason, I started last episode with chapter 11 through chapter 19, and then I I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, put chapter 10 in on the next video. So I went into my phone, which is where I thought I had chapter 10. And I end with chapter 9, and then nothing. So uh, if I find chapter 10, I'll just, I'll insert that somewhere. But I don't know where my thoughts for chapter 10 went. Anyways, in this episode I did three chapters, but they were some pretty intense chapters. We have things really picking up in Hood, and I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, obviously, I don't think I'm going to be reading this in a month. Um, kind of a funny <laughs> concept of a book club taking a little longer than a month, but eh, it is what it is. Life sometimes gets in the way. Uh, this episode I tried recording with my laptop downstairs. Uh... We'll see how the audio turns out for that, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying different things with each episode. Once I, excuse me, once I figure out the right way to do things, I would sit up here and read in front of the computer that is designed for recording, but I don't always get that, that freedom during the day. Uh, uh, normally I'm with my son all day because, you know, obviously I don't work, so I am a stay-at-home mom now. Um, during the day while my husband is working, I am the one who stays with Riley because that just makes sense. And, uh, in the evening is when Brent is able to help me and, and he can take Riley and, uh, that's how we make that work. So during the day, I don't, I don't really want to come up here and just, like, put Riley in a corner while I, like, read in front of my computer. He also doesn't totally seem to like coming up here. Um, and this is on, like, a second floor type area, so... There you go. But anyways, yeah. Thank you again, as always, for tuning in. And uh, next week, hopefully, I'll have more chapters read. And hopefully, you can hear my child laughing, laughing in the background with his daddy. <laughs> what are you doing? What's daddy doing? Awesome. Right. So you guys will have to excuse. Okay. You guys will have to excuse quite a number of things. I know. I look like a wreck. <laughs> um, I didn't sleep very good recently. It's actually Monday that I'm reading this on. So uh, I'm very behind. But anyways, chapter 17 has just ended. Um... You'll have to excuse the change in quality of microphone. I decided to try recording with my laptop. My regular gaming microphone is upstairs, which is why I don't currently have it on me for this laptop. This is just a for now thing. Wow, I really look awful. <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, chapter 17 just happened and I, I, I pictured quite a few interesting things. So we see that the browse is basically suffering quite terribly, which to be fair, we're not really all that upset about, are we? DeBrowse did come in and take whales by force, killing, like, st just a ridiculous amount of people. To Who, to be fair, waited a little too long to try to go swear fealty to the king. Um, so what we have here is DeBrowse suffering in British weather without any of the required things. We'll have to see how that plays out because I'm sure winter is going to be absolutely nasty to DeBrowse and his people because they clearly didn't come prepared for winter at all. We know that Bran is off healing with the woman who found him. Where are that baby? Oh my goodness. Really? Yeah. I didn't sleep well. Um, so we know Bran is off healing. It's been three weeks, which matches up with what we read with Marion a couple chapters ago, where she's just starting to, you know, deal with the loss of Bran, thinking that he's still dead, but Bran is actually healing, which, you know, also makes sense. Time does have to pass. And it's kind of interesting seeing that these buildings and castles are going to be built in El Fail and its ter you know, its territory so that they can take the surrounding comets. Comets. It's comets. I keep saying comets in my head. It's comets. Um, and they're going to be doing that, which is very exciting. Because, like, like, as I'm reading this, I'm trying to picture how the Robin Hood tale is going to just 
form out of this, right? So we know that Robin, is, or Bran in this case, is going to eventually start attacking the surrounding, you know, fortifications that belong to Debrouse in an effort to hamper him and get money back. We know that all of the people of El Fael have scattered across Wales and, you know, Debrouse's people hasn't been able, haven't been able to find women and children and all of that stuff. They know that the women and children are at the monastery and at least for right now they don't dare to attack it, although we know for sure that that hardly ever stays as beneficial as it sounds, right? Like, they clearly killed a monk who was just, who was walking up to them with arms open and clearly not a danger at all and they just murdered him on the, on the street. So... We'll see how that goes. Yeah. I think... What was the last thing I read? I thought I thought something about the last thing I read. Oh, so Falks sealed a letter and dispatched his messenger the moment his guests were out of sight. So we know that that could potentially be picked up by Newfmarsh. Newfmarsh? I'm going to go with Newfmarsh. Um, and he could read the letter, which would be really interesting. We know Newfmarsh wants the, the lands. So we have that playing out. Interesting to see him show up like he's a friend. At least de Brouse knows that he's not a friend. He has enemies on all sides coming after him. But yeah, that was chapter 17. Chapter 18 has come and gone. Um, we have obviously scenes of Bran healing from his terrible wounds that he sustained during his horrible flight. Um, I have a pretty good feeling that Bran is going to become slightly misfigured from the attacks that he's sustained, partly to humble him and to show that Marion truly is probably the only person who really loved him, not for his looks, but for him, for whatever there was that remained of him that was good to love. Because Bran has always been very good looking, as, you know, the beginning of the story told. <laughs> um... So he's used to getting girls and attention and all that stuff based off of his good looks. And now he's not going to have that anymore. So we'll, we'll see how that, you know, how that changes him as a person and also how that can uh, evolve to affect the people in his life. I have a feeling, I have a pretty good feeling that Marion is obviously going to recognize him and love him regardless of his, of his disfigurement, but we shall see. Hello, we have just finished chapter 19. Uh, chapter 19 was super intense. Uh, we have now discovered that Debrouse means to, you know, turn the monastery into a town, which is, excuse me, brutal. I feel like Bishop Asaph trusted way too much in the fact that they were, you know, part of the church and is now being punished for the crime of not aiding Bran. Like his whole spiel about not lying and, and giving the treasury to to de Brouse, we learn also that there was something in it for for uh, bishop asaph and that he had been promised after giving the treasury to de Brouse that they wouldn't be harmed so obviously de Brouse doesn't mean to keep that promise especially because he is so beholden to his uncle and he's so desperate there is the saying you know something about uh never fight a man push into a corner or something like that uh, this appears to be one of those situations. De Brouse considers himself pushed into a corner. Ooh. Yeah. And, you know, his whole, his whole life depends on pleasing his uncle. So he's willing to kill, you know, Bishop Asaph and all of the monks at the monastery and God knows what else, if, unless they will turn the monastery into a, a town. So I think it would be interesting to see if, actually the church aids Bran in the long run, which is, I think, where this is going, is that the, the church is actually going to be on Bran's side once they realize that he's alive, especially now that Bishop Asaph has seen that de Brouse doesn't really care that they're part of the church. Now, Bishop Asaph could send a letter to Rome and see if Rome will, you know, come in and do something about this clear lack of respect toward the church, but I have a good feeling that uh, de Brouse isn't going to let him, whether it be that Bishop Asaph is more or less imprisoned while they're building this town that de Brouse so violently needs, 
or who knows what. But what I, what I believe we're seeing is the setup for Bran to come out of the cave, a fully healed, albeit misfigured man, and see that Elphael is just being totally, you know, ruined and attacked and just, you know, abused, basically. And for, oh my god, I forgot her name, the old crone, for her to be able to convince him that he's not to flee to his his uh, kinsman, or maybe he will still go to his kinsman and, and try to gain aid, and maybe that's where we'll get Will, right? Because in some stories of Robin Hood, Will Scarlet or Will Scathlock is uh, Robin's cousin, and uh, I think often he's depicted as like a, a, a ridiculously strong... One story I read, Will Scarlet was just this ridiculously powerful person, mm. um, like physically powerful, and he ended up being outlawed because he accidentally mm. killed a steward when he carelessly like lifted his hand or something. I don't know if it was uh, him joking and he actually did kill the man, but he was supposed to be just like ridiculously strong. So we'll see if that's how this goes. We know there's going to be a Will Scarlet because book two is called, uh, oh God, Scarlet. There we go. <laughs> it's on my bookshelf and I was just like, what is it called again? Um, book three is called Tuck. So that's kind of exciting. Okay. Anyways, uh, oh. yeah, we'll see you guys next time. I may not be able to read any more chapters today. Oh. I have a very, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, do you see yourself? Do you see yourself? Is that you? <gasps> Who's that? Is that you? <laughs> okay yeah, i have a very i have a baby that needs attention i was mostly reading during his nap and then trying to finish that last chapter was quite an experience as he wanted the book so <laughs> this week may be a little short on chapters including chapter 10 assuming i remember to get it into this video <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate y'all hanging out and sticking it through and yeah i'll see you guys next week